Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're back with another cash game session playing two five lines of the $500 buy-in. Uh, hitting a bit of a break even slash slightly losing stretch here after our incredible heater that we were on. So hopefully gonna turn that around today and turn on the heat again. Uh, button open here, we'll call and be blind the queen six of clubs. Flop top pair, queen seven deuce, one club. To lead this turn once he checks. Get a call, five on the river. Um, can we go for the value here? I think we can. Sometimes gonna value on ourselves. I'm trying to get like a seven here, even an ace high could call. Spades miss here, so maybe put us on some spades. And we do get the river value with the queen six clubs up against ace king. Uh, hijack open here, get a flat from the cutoff. With three bet, he calls. Uh, very interesting. Once you see call, call. We're going to bet here on the 5-4 deuce with the nines. See a call six on the turn. Going to check back. I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe be betting, though. And this is why you would consider betting the ugly ace on the river. It's interesting because, like... A three makes the straight, but there's not going to be that many 3x out there, so I think you can maybe do this with an ace. We're just going to fold, and this is what makes me annoyed with myself when I don't bet this turn. But Especially when he shouldn't have much 3x preflop either. Just going to fold. I think he can be value betting an ace like that. Small line open. We'll call in the big line here. King 9 suited. Flop top pair. King 9 6. One spade. Half pot bet will call. And another king on the turn, so that's king, king, 10, 6. He checks when check two, we will be betting for value. Goes check call, queen of diamonds on the river. Going to go for some river value here. Snap calls, and he has a full house. Oh, brother. Value undersells there. Uh, start this hand up close to 180 big blinds deep. Cut off for small blind. I think we can mix in some just calls here, and we're going to do it here with the Ace King when we're super deep. Uh, board comes down at 4 3 deuce, so we got the gut shot and the two over cards. That's out pretty big. We'll be calling one. King on the turn. That's a bit smaller here on the turn. We'll just be calling, I think. Keep the bluffs in. And three on the river. So this one shouldn't really change that much, really. Don't expect to have too much 3x. Uh, 389 in the middle. We have 703 back. Eight checks. Once he checks, I definitely want to be going for value here. And we're going to go for half pots. Time banking all the way down. And it looks like it makes a fold. I take it out the ace king. Cuff open. We threw about the small blind here with the kings. Get a pretty quick call. Six, a five, four, two clubs. Uh, really deep here. I'm going to set up a check raise, I think. Oh, we didn't do this to fold. Please be ahead. He has queen out of clubs. He has a big draw. All right, and we do hold $1,800 pot going our way with the kings. All right, so open the aces and the cutoff, or in the hijack, cutoff three bet. We'll put in the four bet here pretty deep. And decides on a call. Uh, board comes down queen, nine, and deuce. We'll be putting out a bet. Calls king on the turn. 
It's just slightly concerning because in a four bet pot, um, I'm going to check this. It's a lot of the hands we're trying to stack are like kings, queens, jacks and stuff. So it's either now he has a set a lot of time. We block ace king heavily. Uh, with that said, the way the hands played, like I don't plan on folding, but I think we're more likely to get him to maybe turn some sort of hand to bluff. The thing that sucks is even jack 10 gets there, but I'm not playing this to fold. Five on the river, go ahead and check. Oh, this is a side call. Don't love it. And he turned the nine into the bluff. And the aces are good. Button open, we'll call in big line here at the queen nine. Flop top pair on nine, six, three. Could do some check raising here. We're just going to call though. King on the turn, not the best turn card. Yeah, that's, I think we need to call one more. So there's some draws out here. We do block um, club draws, but the nine of clubs specifically doesn't block as much because that would be a pair. He doesn't need to bluff with it. Um, honestly, outside of a queen or nine, best river card in the deck. Uh, doesn't bring a club. Also brings a second king, makes it less likely he has one. He bets uh, seven, eight misses, clubs miss. I think we just have to call this one. And wow, he had the other two nines for the full house. Uh, here we three bet the ace king suited, get called and flop the absolute nuts. With the ace high flush, get called six of spades on the turn. Don't like this. Uh, we also block like would be the second nut, so it's harder for him to have a super strong hand. Uh, with that said, still do want to be betting, I think. Calls pretty quick. Three of spades on the river. Um, I don't think we can go massive because we block the king of spades. So I think we just need to go small again. And size up. Button open, small blind, three bets. Going to come through with the cold four bet. Snap calls. Uh, we start with the hand 200 big blinds deep. Go ahead and bet on the jack 9-5. So SPR is a little under 3 to 1. He calls four diamonds on the turn. It seems okay. Oh, it's a massive pot. All right, we're calling off. Flopped a set in a four-bet pot. So annoying. Oh, we lose a thousand on that pot. That's so, so annoying. That's going to be the end of today's session. So we played for four hours at 2-5, where we played 1,305 hands and showed a profit of $1,593. Still a good win, but really, really frustrating way to end the night there at that king's hand. It was about like our third to last hand of the night there we lost a thousand dollars in that pot so still a good win but really just feel like it should have been bigger so uh that's gonna be the end of the session though so if you guys are watching the vlog on youtube and enjoyed the video today please be sure to like the video as well as comment and subscribe to the channel i'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week every monday through friday at 1 p.m eastern standard time and if you're on my live streaming schedule on twitch i post that every monday morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time on the schedule tab